Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercress, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. This time around, it is Darkwing Duck for the Game Boy. I played the NES version a long time ago, and I really enjoyed it. And it amazes me how there are a lot of Disney Capcom NES games that had Game Boy ports. Darkwing Duck was no exception. And I'm going to go ahead and press start before the game kicks me back to the copyright screen and the intro stuff. And we get to meet Jay Gander Hoover here. Once again, we need your help, Darkwing. A mysterious crime wave has swept over the city. We believe these crimes are the work of that secret criminal organization, Foul. You must put an end to their fiendish plans. Launchpad will brief you with the details of your missions. And remember to collect all the stolen diamonds and gold bars. Good luck, Darkwing. And from here, we have three stages to choose from. We can play them in any order that we want. We choose a stage. Launchpad takes us there. I'm going to go to this one all the way to the left. Quacker Jack and his henchmen are blocking the construction of the new bridge. You better stop them before someone gets hurt. Do you want to go there? A button for yes, B button for no. Obviously, I'm going to go there because it's the stage that I practiced. Now, this game is the controls just like the NES version. And, of course, Darkwing Duck has to introduce himself. Left and right lets you move around. Down lets you duck. B lets you shoot. A lets you jump. You can leap into the undersides of some platforms. Feel free to experiment. And up lets you block projectiles with your cape. At the bottom, you finally have everything, instead of having to pause to see what your score and lives are. The heart is your health. You have four hit points. Once, you, once the heart is empty, you're going to lose a life. You have your current score and your current amount of lives. Also, I want to shoot at this guy and get some gas. These skinny cartridges of gas, the skinny gas cartridges, are going to give you less than the big ones. Also, that heart jar refills one hit. There are briefcases with hearts on them that give you full health replenishment. And here's the heavy gas. You can switch between the heavy gas and your normal gun with the select button. And when you see your current ammo below your score, that's when you know that you have the special weapon equipped. So always keep that in mind. Apparently, the skinny cartridges give you one shot, while the fat cartridges give you five. So we got that out of the way. Also, I do not like the jumping in this game. I'm holding the button down every time I'm jumping. This is the best jump you get. You had a little bit of your flow of of of, of, of that. I can't speak today to save my life, but when again, when can I not? You have a little bit of float in your jump in the NES version. As a matter of fact, when I play, when I, after I did a practice run of this level, I had to check the NES version just to be sure. And yeah, your jumps seem a little stunted in this version of the game. And I just do not like that. Also, there are bats. And sometimes the enemies will drop gold bars and diamonds. The gold bars are definitely going to be worth 500 points. I'm pretty sure the diamonds are worth more than that, like a thousand. And those turtles, they will zoom towards you once you are close enough to them. So, be careful. Yeah, I am not liking these jumps. Also, grab onto this, that way you can get over here. At least, you have the duck to hit the turtle guys, but they do leave themselves vulnerable before they zoom in at you. And I actually had to hop just a little further to right on that last hook, so that way it could reach this one. Because again, these jumps are horribly stunted. Also, you can not only grab onto the hook itself, but you can also grab onto the top of the hook, that little square area above the hook, between the rope and the hook. I'm glad that's there. I'm glad that the hitbox for the, for the hooks is generous when you try to leap uh, into the undersides of them, and you can do that, but it doesn't help the fact that the jumps in this game are still harrowing. It's like Feel as the Cat for Game Boy, except worse. 
I know I'm getting a little angry about what could probably be a small complaint. I know that if I know that while this is a port of the NES game, it's not exactly one to one. The jumping is getting to me. Like I lost two lives on the practice run on jumps I shouldn't have missed. Also, these guys are here from the NES version. They throw a knife at you. You hold up the block, and after four hits, they're gone. When they're hiding behind their capes, you can't hurt them. They have to be vulnerable. They have to be in the throwing animation to be vulnerable, I should say. And there's a slug. You have to duck down to hit him, of course, but... At least we don't have to deal with him because I managed to make it onto the high road. Thankfully, it was pretty simple to do. And I need to keep ducking so that way... Hey, one up! If you see a Darkwing Duck doll, grab it. It's an extra life. And that is a full health for punishment. That is the heart briefcase. Why did I do that? Oh, okay. The bars are worth more than the diamonds. The diamonds just give you 100. Okay. I really cannot remember everything from the NES version. By the way, the thunder gas. This lets you shoot two angled shots, one up and one down. I forgot that I got it earlier in the level, and this is going to be a very good weapon to use against Quacker Jack. I should also mention that the heavy gas uses three three gas th three points from the gas. Bleh. I should mention that the heavy gas uses three points from your special weapon energy, and the thunder gas uses two. I think that's how it goes. I think that's how much they use. So anyway, here's Quacker Jack. You have. That guy up there throwing banana peels at you that will damage you. And you only have two levels to work with instead of three. What you want to do is get underneath the platform with by holding down and pressing A. And then pressing down to drop down to the floor. Quacker Jack will go to the upper level. Or, yeah, he will go to the upper level. When that happens... He will just stay on the upper level. You can keep hitting him with the Thunder Gas. And if you want to catch up with him, you better be quick on the draw when you're shooting him. And you want to watch out for those banana peels that are being dropped by his little assistant up there. Thankfully, I had just enough to let the Thunder Gas do most of the work. And we get some bonus points for completing the stage. I believe we get an extra life at 5,000 points, which is nice. And unlike the NES version, the game does not put the cursor on another level like it did when I played it. Like, this thing is still highlighted. And if you just go back to the Quacker Jack level, it just tells you the level is already complete. Whereas in the NES version, you only had to speech bubble saying help. So we have two more levels to go before we get the second set of levels. But that will have to wait until the next video. Join me next time where we go into the city. Hope that the jumping doesn't give us a hard time again. And I believe this is the level that has the... Weird duck that was made exclusively for the game. I believe it is. I could be wrong. Maybe it's the other one. We'll find out soon enough. Until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!